Let's look at trouser inflation. This is an integral part of the Army Water Survival Swim Test and Survival Gate 4. There are many methods in which to inflate the trousers and your instructor will show you and you'll practice various methods in class. The important thing is to find one that you do well and quickly and can provide support by the air in the trousers. First is the flap technique. Tie the trousers together, put your head through the legs. Grab the top of the trousers and flap it forward and down. You want the zipper of the trousers towards you. After multiple flaps, the air should be in the trousers. Cross your ankles, hand on the head to validate it. Here underwater you can see how he grabs wide on the trousers, multiple flaps, twists the trousers together, and the air trapped in the trousers holds the head out of the water. Keep the hands wide on the waist. Flip forward, over and down. Not just up and down, but flipping your wrists as if whip whisking eggs. J-stroke technique. Hold the trousers out in front. Slap water forward to towards the trousers as the air fills it up. You'll see this clearly underwater. Again, tying the trouser legs together putting the head through, grab the top of the trousers, get an opening, and forcefully push the water down and up into the trousers and the bubbles will fill the trousers with air. Putting the fist on the head, cross the ankles. The splash technique. Hold the trousers out in front of you and just splash water into the waist of the trousers and the bubbles from the splashed water will fill the trousers. This is probably the technique you used to use to splash friends when you were a kid. Splash that water into the waist of the trousers and then seal it off, putting your head through Again, as you put your head through, grab the knot of the trousers, holding the waist sealed, and slide the head through the opening of the trousers. See, closes the trousers, grabs the knot, and slides the head through. Keep the waist of the trousers closed so the air doesn't escape. Here's another demonstration. The hot air balloon technique. Going underwater, hold the trousers open and blow bubbles up into the trousers. Pull the trousers down to bring you up, get another breath of air, and go back underneath the trousers. Do not bring the trousers out of the water to blow air in with your mouth. You've got to get underneath the trousers, just like filling a hot air balloon. After two or three good breaths, Again, keep the waist sealed, grab the knot, slide your head through, and you're supported by the trousers. Watch how they go underneath the trousers. Blow in, grab the trousers, pull the trousers down, and that will give you some buoyancy to get your head back to the surface. Get a breath, and just repeat the process. There's two good breaths with enough air in which to support the demonstrator. Fist on the head, ankles crossed, validating the attempt.
Either of these methods are acceptable. However, you should practice one that you feel confident you can do quickly and effectively in order to use it in both the Army Water Survival Swim Test and Survival Gate 4.